to Samster Games, the place to find new strategy games. And today, there's no time for instant jokes because we must find the cure. So we're going to start a new campaign on Orto to Desolation. Now, this is not an early access or a full race. It's a first access. The game is currently available on itch.io. So big thank you to the developer for letting me play it. And now we can either we can choose a party. We can pick a priest, hunter, or warmong party. You get three different warriors. I've played this with all of these, and I find the priest to be by far the best. So we're going to be playing with that. The hunter is also pretty interesting, especially if you could get uh, this 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 character. He's like a guardian to join your hunter group because they have some ranged ability people. And if you can get somebody, this guy has an ability to bash enemies, so we can push them a couple squares away so combining that with your hunter could be really cool now every time you start off you can pay you can pick your items so first thing you can get is medicine medicine is important if your character dies in battle when you move out of the battle they will still be there but they will gain injury and if they die in battle after being injured they're completely dead and you lose them so this can allow you to, to remove the injury between battles it's important to note here that getting medicine in game is pretty difficult so it could be a good idea to take it Next up, you've got like um, weapons. What's important here to say is that uh, the weapons you do like regular damage and then you can do special damage to an armor, which is determined by the percentage. So for example, if I'm using silver stuff, I can do 48 regular damage and I can do 12 damage to the enemy armor and I can slowly break the armor because otherwise the armor protects you from attacks. So you can take that. Oh, then we have silver helmet and shield to get protection. So I'm going to take this shield, I think, and a and then we could get some of these, which are essentially mutations. So I'm probably not going to pick any of them, but I will tell them much. So essentially, you can use this to put on a character to mutate them somehow to get yourself a special bonus. You can also get them after you win a combat. So out of these basic ones, I don't really like them that much. So we're not going to go through them. I will show it to you when we get them in combat. So instead, I'm going to take the shield and uh, I'm going to take the silver staff. It's uh, another important thing here is that not everything can be equipped by everyone. For example, the shield and the helmet can only be given to the guardian and the silver staff can only be given to your priest. So you want to make sure that you take it the right way. Now, then you have difficulties. We're going to pick the one that we have been given, which is explorations. <laughs> it's funny. It says for less experienced players, but it's just quite challenging. Uh, I do want to read you the, the description for the epic journey because I think it's quite funny. You know, every mechanic in this game and our very talented and strategic thinking hard as hell. When you win the game, call me for a beer. <laughs> I think that's super funny. So let's do it. Let's do exploration, which is what we were given as a, as a basics. Your journey begins as Ortuk. You have been held in prison in sanatorium deep under the surface. For many years, the crafted alchemists have been conducting experiments on your body. As a result, you have suffered a deadly disease. Now, finally, you escape from the underground and undertake a dangerous journey for the search for the cure and disown the Badlands. You must fight your way to the scavengers, a group of bandits and techs looking for very travelers. We gotta protect them, people. For some time spent in this zone, Karlva will begin to emerge, and don't, so don't stay too long. Also, remember that the medicine used to heal injuries of your party members is extremely rare, and you can buy some in the black market. You already know that. In every zone, you must travel to the exit node, which leads to the next zone, which is on the right top. All right, so let me quickly talk to you about the interface a little bit, and then we'll go. So on the left, you can see the days elapsed in this world. Then you can see your trillium, which is default currency. A medicine, which we already explained. A life essence, this is important to get mutations, which you're going to see right after we finish our first combat. Flesh, alcohol, and blood, this is used like for different classes. For example, if blood is if you have somebody who becomes a vampire. Flesh, I think, is for werewolves and stuff like that. Now you can click on the bottom here, rumors, which essentially you can read where you can have some interesting encounters. Or if there's an encounter available, you can sort of hover over this. And it's for sure. So currently we have none. So we can move in sort of like a random direction, for example, up here. But then once there's some sort of encounter, you can hover over this. Still none? Okay. Still none. Okay, so we are going to move over there. I just want to show it to you. I'm going to keep doing... Yeah, so if we hover over this, we can do the Monster Slayer, which is one of these rumors here that you can read as well. So you can, like, see what's going to happen and where. But before we do that, let's first talk about our party. So first is Ortec, but Ortec is not Ortec. Ortec is Samstra. I am the priest. So on the up top here, you can see my HP, then protection, damage, 
uh, this is regular damage and he also have like armor damage i have no armor myself my protection is zero but for example this guy has an armor of 255 that's pretty important strength determines my weapon damage vitality my maximum hp agility is pretty important because agility affects stamina stamina is used for a lot of abilities but not for all of them and speed speed determines who goes in the initiative order and it can also affect if you have too low of a, of a speed you can get slowed or stunned and you have a you're more vulnerable against critical attack and this is concentration which affects focus focus is interesting when you unlock it at level four so it's not going to be that interesting for us right now now as for the abilities you have to attack then you have this life still so you can give this to somebody and they can heal if they get attacked then you have ages this allows you to block one incoming attack but it costs me my max hp the, the attack costs stamina these two cost max hp swap allows you to swap with somebody else and then the best ability of the priest the lead causes attack to be attacked by all adjacent melee units including self which is amazing and it only costs 10 more stamina than regular attacks so it's definitely worth it i'm also going to swap the iron staff for silver staff next up we have Celtic. now uh this guy uh, he doesn't really have any all that cool abilities at the beginning but once he can get blood strength that's really really cool so for the start he's just like he has a pretty good damage that he can do and pretty nice hp but that's about it and then you've got this guy who is semex by the way, if you want a character to be named after in this game, you can check out my Patreon and see if you like any options there. It really means a lot. So big thank you to both Xemex and Celtic for supporting me. And if you'd like to look at it, you can. There's a link for it in the description. Now, let's go talk about Xemex, who's a guardian. And he has an interesting ability for bash and bash and moves, which allows you to push the enemies away. This can be pretty beneficial if you manage to push them onto rocks or different kind of traps, because you can place different traps in the map which can be very cool so if you can sort of combine this ability with like pushing them on the stuff can be really cool you can also shield an ally to protect them but i don't really use it that much so the bashing i think is by far the best so let's go to a monster slayer oh we didn't read it we'll read it now we'll read it here. a well-known monster slayer valbreak the hunter has been descending to dungeon to eradicate monsters he hasn't returned for more than a week he might be injured or dead the dungeon is located north to you Okay, let's do it. I'm gonna search it. As you investigate this location, you discover a passage to a cavern. After you descend deeper, you see a group of beasts. At the end of the cavern, you recognize an injured person laying on the ground, unable to walk. Do you want to silently sneak in and try to scream? Of course we do. I am here to help people. So these these are the beasts. The beasts are by the way random. I've had this event and the beasts are very much different. This is the guy we need to save. So let's do it. Start battle. Hey yo, I was badly wounded. Help me, help me. My leg is injured and I cannot walk. Please come to me for rescue. Also, beware of the monsters. They seem to sleep, but when you approach too close, they wake up in the dark. Okay, man, thank you for the tip. Alright, so we're gonna go with my priest. Now, because the priest has the ability to lead, we should make sure that our, uh, he's sort of surrounded by my other buddies. Because otherwise his ability is kind of useless. Also, the height difference in terrain is pretty important here. So you want to make sure that you... You want to go at that guy. He's going to hit us. Let's go like this. That's fine. He'll hit us, but that's okay. Um, what was I going to say? Yeah, so if you attack from higher ground, you get a bonus. If you attack from a lower ground, you get a negative effect. We could use a shield ally on myself. Sure. Let's do it. Of course, he's, he's not attacking anybody who's shielded, but that's fine. Okay, so I'm now going to move my priest over here and use this lead. So that means both me and Celtic are going to attack him. We can we do we get a bonus from that as well. It's really cool. Nice. So normally I would do a much lower attack, but because of the assisting, we get better. Now there's also an uh, it's something called backstabbing. Oh, because he was taunted, he got a hit back, which is nice. And the, the monster's like, oh, that hurts. Why would you do that to me? He attacked me first. Oh, good. I have nothing to say to that. If you're attacking from an opposite square, which unfortunately we cannot do, but if we could, we would get a bonus for, um, for like, backstab because we're attacking from the other side. Do we want to push him away? Sure, let's do it. I just want to show you the ability. 
Oh, he resisted being pushed away. Okay, now I'm gonna move behind him. Just gonna give me a backstabbing bonus. So normally I would do like uh, 42 damage, but I get a crit chance because Xamex is sort of like, you know, engaging with the beast, making sure the beast is staring at him and I'm coming from behind and like, bam, pushing my staff into his back. And then the beast doesn't even die. The beast is like, you thought that stick would hurt me? I am going to hurt your friend for this. So he's like, why are you hitting me? This was between Xamex and Samstra. What happened? Okay, we killed. Is there any more beasts? So we, uh, yeah, okay, there's a beast over there. So let's go. Let's go meet the beast. That is pretty injured. You heal to full HP between combat, so you, all you gotta do is kind of make sure that they don't hit him again. Oh, this by the way means that Xamex is out of breath. So we, whoa, okay, there's uh, traps there, so we gotta walk this way. Um, that means that he's out of breath, so he won't be able to do as much of attacks as some of the others. And move through. You move to there. Okay, the, the beast. Ah, oh, they're after me. Keep them away from me. Don't worry. I'll try. I got you covered, man. Uh, I'm going to move over here. Make sure that the enemy is going to have to step on one of these skulls or something to get hurt. You move there and wait it out. So I my need to shield Saltik. I'm slightly worried for... We could place a lifesteal. Nah, the beast is not close enough. Why is the beast trying to go at that guy over there? Beast, you have people here waiting for you. Where would you go at him? Uh, the beast is like, I don't want to get hurt. Yeah, well... Uh, I'm gonna move myself behind and see what happens. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna let the beast go. Uh, I think the beast just wanna attack him, so, so we're gonna have to do this. Okay, enough running around, let's just go and fight. So we're gonna hit this guy. We could bash him away. Yeah, we, we wanna let the others hit him as well. So Xamex is a little out of breath, that's... So if I use this attack, he's probably not... Actually, he is going to help me, let's try it. Let's see. Okay, so he does it anyway. Sometimes the problem is if they're too out of breath that their abilities won't work out. So for example, you know, you, you're supposed to get a counterattack, but you're out of breath so we don't actually hit anything and stuff like that. You helped the poor adventurer to get out. As a thanks for his life, he agrees to join you. Join me. Now we've got 38 life essence, which is unfortunately not enough to get any of these mutations. But once we get enough, we can get, for example, this flesh eater, and an adjacent character dies. Ally or foe, heal for 30% of max HP. That is so good. I want that so bad. I'm gonna make my people flesh eaters. Uh -huh. <laughs> I know, I know it's cruel, but I'm excited, okay? I'm excited. This game is so good, by the way. Okay, we got this person. I don't want... Ooh, this is a javelin kind of guy. Ooh. Ooh, 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 ooh. That is interesting. Okay, so javelin is super cool for one reason. Because you can sort of throw the javelin over other people so you can stand behind an ally and just throw the javelin and be like yeah you know what i'm, I'm gonna call this guy javi i don't know if I, that's how i write it because he's the javelin man javi javi's helping us out oh, what is this is this hidden cave okay we could go to seriously <laughs> normally you have like a lot of encounters so then we kind of get around around to find any encounters yeah let's we're gonna move towards the hidden hidden cave i want to do some fighting let's go Somewhere east of your spot, people are talking about villagers getting kidnapped every day. The room is that the works of a newly arrived cultist clan. Oh, can I become a cultist leader? I like that. Check out religion if you're interested in more of that. They have a secret place established to run their blood rituals on the poor folk. Ooh. Also, I love the little sort of like a black uh, silhouettes of our people. That's cool. When you investigate this place, you discover a hidden entrance to a cave. After you descend deeper, you see a group of individuals doing some kind of ritual. They use the poor villagers as offering. Fine, right, let's go save the villagers because we're the good gang. Oh my god, the poor little villagers shaking in fear. Okay, it's all right, guys. We'll save you. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Don't intervene, traveler. We make a quick work of you. After we deal with the villagers, let's kill those travelers. <laughs> um. First of all, you weren't really quiet, so I heard it. Okay, so I'm gonna... You can only travel the travel in the two steps, so I kind of want to go on the high ground. 
But then I don't think I can throw the javelin, so let's move over here and just throw the javelin. Bam. He's back to half HP, I'm like. I am gonna hurt you. Because you dare to experiment on poor villagers. Dare you do it. Uh, I mean, I could put a lifesteal on the villager, but like, no. I could have to save them, but we're not gonna worry too much about it. Now, we can move over here because it's too high. So it's just, it's taking him too much. Uh, let's just oh, move that way. That's fine. No! I should have given him the life steal. Oh, stop hitting the villagers! Jesus, calm down. It's just like, oh. Oh, the villager, though. Did you see that? He was like, I'm so inspired by this priestess woman coming to save us. And man, details, okay? And then he was just like, I am gonna help out and destroy the man who's trying to kill me. Oh, yeah, that was so good. That makes you just gonna run around in the back, just like not gonna join the fight. I'm not in the saving villager business, okay? You want to save the villagers? I didn't sign up for that. Or son, I don't know. Okay, he's just like nah. Uh, okay, uh, well, okay, villager, I'm gonna give you a life steal because I kind of gotta. Uh, how do I? Oh, okay, I'm gonna give him uh, ages because I, I gotta, I gotta protect him. Don't worry, villager. I've got you cover. I'm gonna save you. I could swap, but then I really can't do much. Actually, yeah, I could attack. Let's attack another lead. Villager, I know you're inspired. Join me. Help me, man. Yeah. He is the villager boss. Ooh, he was so good. Uh, can I make him join me? Probably not. Oh, he got blood, though. Ooh, so he could become a vampire now. After I've dealt with the cultists, you find many extracts of blood. Looks like it was used for the ritual. Who knows? What is the origin of it? We can make good use of it. Yeah. That villager was so good. I love him so much. Okay. Preparation. On melee, non-block, critical attack, and ret retaliation buff. On a melee, non-blocked, critical attack. And a retaliation buff. So if I manage to do a critical on somebody else, then I myself get a retaliation so when he hits me i can hit him back or if somebody does a critical attack on me i can retaliate but i can't retaliate normal attacks that'd be kind of weird alternatively we could do light foot upgrade of swap so this is pretty cool you're not able to swap with allies many times depending on how many oh how you moved already afterwards you can execute a button now let's we'll take this i am gonna put this on Celtic, I think. Right? Celtic seems like the man to take it, right? Yeah. Mainly non block critical in you go. Can you unequip? Yeah, you can. Uh, uh, yeah, let's, let's give it to him. We'll see. We get, he gets preparation. I wonder if I should have. Nah, but we'll leave it on. Xamax is everything. Even when he's like not fighting. Who yeah. wants to save villagers? Oh, oh, look at look, somebody else moving. Ooh, what happens if you move over there? Ooh. When you approach, you see some soldiers surrounding other soldiers ready to strike. It looks like they have unfinished business and the battle will commence shortly. Let's engage, because that's what we do. We stick our nose into other people's <laughs> Which group are we supposed to help? Please help us, this body! Our bounty hunters want us dead. Uh, bounty hunters? That seems like you are the bad guys. Keep yourself out of this trouble. These are deserters and we're hard to kill them. After we finish this with those, let's deal with the travelers. I think they've got some valuables. Okay, we're gonna kill the bounty hunters then. All right. You an enemy? Yeah. So on the left, the orange is uh, me. The the white is neutral and the red is the bad guy. So let's go. Let's go over here and throw ourselves some javelin. Javi. Oh, we hit his armor pretty nicely. What? How dare you? I will finish you off for this. You dare to touch me. You dare it. And you will be. Ah, uh, <laughs> I'm doing no damage to him whatsoever, but I'm going to hit him anyways. Uh, Salty, it would be nice if you could come and join me in this combat. Of course. I got you. I got you covered. 
<laughs> I just find it so funny how Xemex did nothing in the previous fight. <laughs> it's just so good for the narrative, okay? I realize I'm controlling him so I can... No, don't hit Kami. Stop it. Stop it. Uh, you know what, Sally? Go and hit him up. Let's see what you can do. Okay, um... You need to move behind me and throw your javelin. Oh, you could kill off this guy, so do it. Nice. Xemex, could you now please join the combat? Yeah, as long as I don't have to fight some villagers, I'll do it. Just because you ask. Thank you. <laughs> uh, he's out of breath again, but he's still gonna assist me, even though he's out of breath, I believe. As soon as the priest goes. Okay, the priest's not gonna go because something is like, You broke my arm! Who broke whose arms? I think, I think mine, actually. Like, mine as the priest mine. Okay. Oh. Stop focusing on me! There's nobody else to focus on, Mr. Evil Man. Oh, oh, nice. Uh, ja Javi leveled up! Cool! I'm gonna show you what we, what we can do with that. Victory. Victory! Yeah. You saved the leader of the deserters as a deserter. He has a tough fight and is better join your party. Okay, who are you? Pamiel! The scavenger warlord! Wow! You get a warlord. Okay, what could we do? Preparation? Another one? Or light food? Ah, uh, do we take it? Now, they're gonna leave the lifesteal for other things. So, uh, Mr. Pamiel, what you've got? Yeah, nothing really useful. But we can... Oh, didn't it say we could level up Kavi? Kavi? No. I don't know if Pamiel is a weird name. We'll call him... We'll call him the Rammer. Because he has the ability to ram. Call him the Rammer. <laughs> These names are funny. They're funny to me. Okay, let's go. Let's go fight uh, Jashave. When you step out on a higher position, you see hostile scavengers. Seems like they're hoarding trillium from the raids. Ooh, I want my money. Give me all your money. I just uh, fine, it's fine. Enemies, let's get rid of them. Yeah. Who is this? Uh, is that... Uh, oh, that's Javi. Javi, Javi, Javi. Yeah, stay behind. I want the others to move forward. This is me. I'm gonna go forward like a boss. I wish I could get somebody ranged because these rangers say they can place the bear traps and those are really, really cool. But uh, doesn't seem to be given that way. Um, Celtic, you are moving very slowly. Uh, everybody else is too, actually, so it's not your fault. It's fine. Are you gonna hit me? Uh, yeah, you're gonna hit me. That's fine. I guess. Oof. You'd have to move through and up. I don't want, uh, you know what? Just stay in position. I'm gonna move myself to attack that guy. Because we are in a melee towards a ranged attack unit. We should be able to... But, uh, if, if he tries to use a ranged attack, we can block it. I, I'm gonna go over here and hit this guy with a regular attack. We could ram into him, push him away, but it's not necessary. Okay, Salty, go and hit... Oh, and we, we get a bonus because we're on the high ground. This is gonna be... Bam him in the face. Uh, Xemex, uh, go over here and just hit him normally. Uh, pushing him away is pointless because there are no traps behind him, which is fine. Uh, uh, we're on a risk of helping it stay. You go over here and throw your javelin and finish off that guy. Great, did. I'm gonna need to heal myself, but actually, I'm healing myself already. Um, if I move closer, nobody else can hit him. I could move backwards and. Uh, you know what? I'm just gonna put uh, IGs on myself and stay in position. So if he hits me, I'm not gonna get hurt at all. And... Um, yeah, stay. You... I ram him. What happens if I ram him into the other guy? Oh, nothing. I just placed myself there. Okay. Well, either way, we should now get a, a attack from behind. Oh, I could kill the... Oh, let, let's attack this guy. First. Oh, that hurts. I'm getting out of here. So he's panicking, but yeah, he can't really do much because he can't move because he's surrounded from everywhere. But like, yeah. 
You get kill and finish him off with the and that's pretty cool. That was nice. And I get to heal to, get healed to full HP now. Great. Mass killer, two out of ten. That was pretty nice. So we we didn't get the level up. I'm not quite sure. I thought it said that Harry leveled up, but apparently, oh, now he leveled up. Great. Okay. Lightfoot or preparation or range support. Ooh, 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 ooh. When an ally attacks a target in melee range, aid him by shooting at a target if in range, and no friendly fire is involved. So the javelin is a ranged weapon, correct? It counts as a ranged weapon. Is that right? So let's let's try it. Let's try to put it on our ranged guy. Heavy. Can I give you range support? Yeah. And I can also level him up. So we can give him extra strength, vitality, agility. I might want to give him... He doesn't really use his ability, so I'm just going to give him extra strength to just do more stuff. Xemex, uh, let's give you some more HP and some strength. And that's it. Okay. And now, where to next? Let's move to... We could wait in the room. Where's like, where... where oh, what is this? Some people report that from a nearby cave you can hear screams and a man's groan. Uh, the rumor is that a famous alchemist has um, gotten missing just a few days ago. The cave is located east from your spot. I guess we'll do it. Okay, let's do it. Looking at the place, you see some big non-human tracks. After a while, you discovered a huge beast holding some people at its prey. Okay. Ooh. Ah, more meat for me. We can try to kill him more. Ignore him and head to the escape area. No, I want to protect the villagers. What's wrong with you? And by you, I mean me, because I said that. The priest just like, you know. <laughs> so it's, it's, it's rubbing off on me. It's just like, I don't want to protect these villagers. <laughs> I'm sorry, Xemex. It's just the narrative the game gave me, okay? <laughs> I realize it's not your fault what your character does, but you know what? We're sticking to it. Stop killing those villagers. Oh, is that Vegeta gonna die? Ooh, he's not dead yet. But he's gonna be dead soon because I can get to him and I don't think I can protect him in any ways, really. Because he's too far. Okay, that, that villager's just dead. Look, I tried, okay? I tried. Just gonna put it on his grave. Someone try to save me. Ooh, they were just like, if nobody's saving, I'm gonna save myself. Dead. Yeah, man, you, you should have ran. I would have protected you if you just ran. But you didn't, so. Uh, my jamming guy is gonna get injured here a little bit, but it's fine. Gabby can do it. Gabby is strong. Let's move over here, kill this guy off. Can I do it? Ooh, I can do it. No, I can't do it. Oh, but I better get the range support. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We know. Calm down. Go, 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 go. Bam. Gabby and I for the win. Oh, this game. Oh, this game so much. <laughs> Probably gonna do a longer let's play when when my voice is a bit better and I can actually talk like a normal person. But you know what? Yeah, a little more different. Uh, run around Xemex, I guess. Uh, you, yeah, villager, hit him in the face. Go over here and hit that guy, cause you can. Who is this, by the way? Mm. What? What's your name? Oh, the rammer. Okay, okay. Yeah, you can. Yeah, Kavi's really just winning this fight. Kavi's like, as long as we're fighting beasts, I'm the boss. Masculine trade out of 10. <laughs> I like this card, too, so. Ooh, you save some of the poor villagers with their help if you're able to extract from the fallen beast some of its flesh. Ooh, and we can get leeching criticals. On a critical non block normal attack, leech life. Or a flesh eater. Oh my god, we're gonna take a flesh eater. Flesh eater for the win. Who is going to be a flesh eater? I kind of want to give it on either myself or... Wait, it has to be adjacent. So it cannot be Javi because Javi is ranged. Remember, I man, I don't care about him. So it's really a toss between me and... I guess Celtic because Xemex has not been doing much so far. 
I keep wanting to, him to do stuff, but he's like, nah. Uh, so, I'm, I, you know what? I'm going to make myself a um, salt cake. Then he has the preparation. Eh, I'm going to, eh, let's, let's put it. No, wait, wait, but I, I can heal myself just because I'm the priest. I have I have that self-healing. So we'll, we'll put it on, we'll put it on salt cake, I guess. We'll put it on him because I can heal myself and now salty can also heal himself. Semex has like a zillion of protection. Uh, Javi is not adjacent to enemies, and Rammer, well, Rammer can die, we don't care. <laughs> Rammer's like, who cares? <laughs> okay, well, I think that's gonna be it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. And you can click on the right top to watch the next one, or you can click on the right bottom to watch Hostile Takeover. I'll see you there. Bye bye.